Real Corporation and Home, so I could actually never make it. And thank you, David, for giving me this opportunity. Um, I usually do online um, trainings and usually send out to link, the link is sent out to you know, forums and communities, depending on the kind of films, and never really done anything like this. So this is new and I'm really excited and I'm happy that you're all here. Um, so I just wanted to very quickly introduce um, myself um, and also the films that we'll be screening here. Um, I used to work as um, a professor of English literature back in India, and my 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 I kind of gradually moved towards filmmaking. So I was raised in India, always used to watch films, and was fascinated by cinema. I used to study cinema, and uh, I've been teaching film studies and cinema. I have uh, a master's uh, from SFSU, um, and I was all set to teach films. And filmmaking just happened to me at the side. And uh, it was the way I was trying to engage with issues that uh, were important to me. And I was trying to understand things that, that were happening here uh, in the Bay Area. So these many of these films that I do, these pieces are also personal. And uh, I'm really happy because Judy is here. So my film, this was the first, the, uh, the film that we're going to watch is on Judy Adams, and she's here. And <laughs> first piece that I did on someone I uh, wasn't acquainted with. So most of my pieces were, you know, friends and acquaintances and people who I somehow knew. knew. Um, with Judy's story, it just spontaneously happened that I was in front of Sanford at that particular time on a Friday and I saw the work that Judy and her group were doing and I was like intrigued. And um, it's not very easy for me to walk up to people to ask them what they're doing. I generally don't do that. But that's what documentary filmmaking does. It sort of pushes you out of your comfort zone and forces you to engage um, with, uh, with people and with uh, topics that you might not have uh, done before. So I walked up to Judy and I found her to be an incredible person. So I thought that this has to be a film. So that is the first film. Um, the second film is very different. It's not documentary. It's more um, of an experimental dance uh, film. Um, I also have a background in classical Indian dance called Bharatanatyam. So I was trying to use tropes from that particular dance form and bring it, um, sort of bring it out in a film. So it, it, it's two of my passions, dance and film, film uh, coming together in a film. Uh, it's called Navarasa. And I just wanted to very briefly talk about the concept of Navarasa. Um, uh, so Indian dances, a lot of Indian dances in theatre goes back to the concept of Navarasa, which can be very um, kind of translated as the nine emotions. So these are basic human emotions, nine emotions, um, and the emotions are the emotions of love, uh, of joy, of um, disgust, um, of um, fear, um, wonder. Oh, wait, there are five. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> It's like naming the 50 states, you can never remember. <laughs> Sadness. Um, yes, anger, anger, thank you, anger. And the last one is actually peace, but there's, there's one that I'm missing here. So there are now nine, and the film will actually show all the nine uh, emotions. So I was kind of toying with the idea of emotions, and I teach a small class, and I teach kids um, dance. And with kids, it's easy. You ask them to show a happy face, and they kind of just suddenly this is a happy face. So these are emotions that you sort of voluntarily uh, pull up. And the idea behind uh, embracing these emotions are that it kind of creates a heightened awareness of uh, your own emotions, and you're sort of embracing and accepting these emotions. And I feel that as we grow older, it's harder for us to show our emotions because we, we are taught to control sometimes, and if you're a woman, and especially if you're a woman of color, then you can't be angry at all. So then anger is a big no-no. But anger is also very important because if, if there is no rage, if there is no anger, then you don't progress, you know, then you can't find solutions, you, you can't get to the other side without going through this process. So I used that trope um, to bring out a story here, and it's very experimental. I, would, I wouldn't talk more about what happens in the story. I would love to hear about what everybody thinks. Um, 
So maybe perhaps we can start with the screening and then maybe yeah. we have questions later on. We would love to welcome it up to Q&A if, if people have time. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I'll get the projector back on, then I'll get the lights and we'll do it away.